All right, so me and Jimmy went to Caboolture Gym for Pump Seekers today, and it was cool. We met this dude, Mark, and that was him on there, and he was saying, Annihilator rules or some shit, but we didn't catch the audio. So I'm overdubbing it instead. But that dude on the, the sit-up machine, that was Mark from England, and we're uh, going to meet up with him for lunch. We made friends and all that. It was good. Uh, okay, so we did three times ten of everything, and it's upper body day, so you know the deal. Here I'm on a chest machine. What was also cool is when I got to the gym today, I posted my song Leg Day all over the place, all over the pool Facebooks and gym Facebooks where I go. And they had all watched it and she said, oh, I love your song. So that was a nice um, thing to happen. You know, at least she didn't say she hated it and punched me in the face, you know. <laughs> so it could have gone worse. So, yeah, and who knows if she's just... She seemed to, to mean it. I don't think she was just being polite. She seemed to actually like it. And I think most people will because the song's about Leg Day and everyone can relate, you know. Leg Days are tough. And, uh, yeah, so the air conditioning was fucking full bore today, so it was awesome. And also, it was only, it was, when I say only, it was 31 degrees Celsius today, which is pretty hot. I mean, it can be hotter here by a long fucking mile at 38, 39. It was only 50% humidity today all day, so it was a nice dry one, eh, Jimbo? And, um, Jimmy's sorting out French fries from sweet potato and potato. It's been soaking for days, so when we rinsed it and tipped it out, all the starch came out of the um, potatoes. So last night, I did a video about it. I did French fries in the air fryer, and that's what we intend doing now. We're going to coat these in olive oil and, and air fry the bastards and make really crunchy chips. And he's doing a good job. He's chopping them up into chips. But um, oh, I'm on the shoulder press here, back to pump seekers, shoulder press. And today we were really resting between sets, so we were lifting heavier um, some of the time because... Um, we were talking to that Mark, the English dude, we were talking to him, sometimes we are resting five minutes between each set. Um, this is the lat pull-down machine. I really love this machine. It really positions you to really get a stretch in the lats and, and whatever. So we did two back exercises today, this and the row machine. We did pretty much a row workout today. And, um, yeah, so and, and a lot of these shots, we haven't got the full reps and all that because we were distracted. But look, you know, it's still an awesome episode of Pump Seekers in my book. And, um, you know, if you watch this, I'm sure you will have your hair go curly if you want that. <laughs> That's an expression in Australia. They always go, eat it, your hair will grow curly. And for, apparently we wanted that. Or do it, it'll make your hair go curly. Or grow chest hair, that's another one. Hey, Jimmy, like, did you remember hearing that as a kid? Yeah. Do that, you'll grow chest hair. Eat your crusts. Eat your crusts. <laughs> you'll grow chest hair. So here I'm on the row machine, and here I am doing these um, middle delt raises, side raises. With these, I'm not really... Some people lean forward with them, Uh I tend to sometimes get a really strict posture and have my elbows back. Today I was trying to have my elbows a little bit forward because you get more of a range of motion, but also I think if your elbows are forward, it takes some of the strain out of the bad parts of your shoulder. I actually don't know enough about that exercise to really know, and I haven't been able to check in with the, my, the guy I call my sort of my Arnold Schwarzenegger, this guy named... There's an old, uh, when I say older, he's older than me, a bodybuilder on the Gold Coast named Paul. And he, he um, builds dumbbells and gym equipment. And he owned the first gym in Queensland, I think, or at least the Gold Coast back in the late 60s or whatever. And he's met Arnie and everybody actually at his gym. But Paul teaches me stuff. And, I, I you know, like, for instance, these rear delt raises that I'm doing now, I, 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 Paul taught me these. Now, I do them. I believe I'm hitting my rear delt with my mind-muscle connection. I believe I'm doing the exercise correctly, but it, I'd love a, a session with Paul to straighten me out on some of these shoulder exercises. Um, but, look, you know, Jimmy and I, like, we feel that we hit the right muscles. We um, believe we're getting uh, growth in those muscles, so we can't be too far off, but... Anyway, um, you can always learn something. That's why I'm sure you're watching this to learn things from me and I watch everybody's fitness shows and that to learn things myself. Um, so, yeah, after this we went and jumped in the pool. We were a bit worried about Mark. He was fucking like a raw... Pr no, not a cooked prawn, not raw. 
he was lying out there and he's saying, no, nah, you've got to get sunburn, it's good for you. And I was like, fuck, no, it's not, Mark. All right, and this is us at Subway. All right, 